What's up, what's up guys? Jason Flago here with another video on ChatGPT. We're gonna walk through creating a full SEO optimized blog post in less than 10 minutes. We're gonna talk about title, heading, creating the full copy, and even repurposing video content to create this blog post. This is a video you definitely don't wanna miss. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking through a real example of how to create a full blog post optimized for SEO and using all the right content marketing tactics and principles. And we're gonna use this real example with a recent video on my channel. So my video that I did on how to use ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing is a post that I wanna turn into a full blog post uh, on my blog. We are going to take this video here the transcript and turn it into a full SEO optimized article. One of the best ways to use ChatGPT, especially for this process, is you go to your published video, you can go here and click on the little three ellipsis icons, click on show transcript, scroll down here, you can toggle timestamps on or off, and then what you're going to do is copy all of this, and then you're going to go over here into ChatGPT and throw that in and say, can you make a full blog post draft? from that. So what I did was I asked it here in ChatGPT to create the full blog post on how to use ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing using this transcript. Pasted that in and then a few minutes later it outputted, hey, ChatGPT can be a powerful tool for SEO and content marketing. Here are 12 ways it can help you improve your S uh, search engine optimization and content strategy. So a very good start here. Uh, from there I added in, uh, intro asked it to write in an introduction to the blog post using the video description copy that I added into this video when I first originally published it. And then it came out with another introduction here. And then I asked ChatGPT to create subheadings for each of the 12 ways above and add in two to three sentences for each of those bullet points, those main subheadings. And then the content was a little bit dry for each of those subheading sections. So I asked it to create three to four sentences for each of those 12 ways that ChatGPT can be used for SEO and content marketing. And then the next thing that I did, I just typed in Google ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing. One of the articles I found was from Search Engine Journal talking about ChatGPT for content and SEO. I copied all of this content and then I pasted it right back here into ChatGPT and then I asked it, can you create a blog post based on this copy? Because I actually want to use some of the copy from the few top ranking articles on SERP pages, the search engine result pages, and use that as an opportunity to create content for adding it into my blog, reworking it, re reusing it, repurposing that content. It added at, in here some of the main, a few uh, paragraphs of some of the main content takeaways from that article. I asked it to continue where it left off. After that, I copied all of this into a Google Doc here that I'm using. I've got a number of the meta description options we'll get into here in a second, but I've got the full article down here. Each of those areas, the subsections became subheadings that I'm going to add in those other sentences and we'll optimize it from there. And then I've got a bonus section for generating PPC ad campaigns. And then I've got a call to action. And I've got my notes down here from these other articles that I'm gonna repurpose and reuse in this article above. So the next thing I did was meta descriptions. On the search engine's result page, I see a number of meta descriptions for these top ranking articles. I went over here into my Google Doc and I've got these four options of meta descriptions for those top ranking uh, articles. I took the meta descriptions and I asked ChatGPT, can you create three meta descriptions based on this copy? And then it gave me three options to work with that are actually pretty good. There's only a few minor changes that I would do and I added them here with the three final options to work with. And then the next thing I wanted to do after I have most of my copy draft uh, for the blog created, I wanted a call to action at the end. I asked ChatGPT GPT, I went over to m one of my company's websites, which is Catalyst Brand Group, where we help do a lot of business growth, PPC ad campaigns, strategy, growth consulting for different companies. And I copied the entire homepage and I pasted it here into ChatGPT. And I said, can you create a three to four sentence call to action to schedule a free discovery call with our business that we can add to the end of the blog post? And it gave me three options here to use actually for this ending call to action 
which I then used and added in here. And I'm probably gonna rework this a little bit. As you can see here, I've got now the ability to go into ChatGPT, come up with title options. I gotta come up with a few H1 heading options. I've got a good idea on the meta description that I'm gonna do. Now the next final things that I need to do is come up with some image options, do some video embed. I've got the call to action. Everything is optimized here. And I'm gonna go ahead and post this on our website. And then I've gotta share it around to get some eyeballs and traffic on the blog post. But as you can see, I've generated an entire blog post based on a video in less than 10 minutes do it using chat GPT. I recommend checking out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Definitely check out my SEO deep dive video that I did recently where I walk through a lot of the analytics, the data side that you can use to Im improve your website or your blog content. And I also have a how to do SEO and content marketing, that full video that we were talking about creating this blog post for. Definitely check those out. And if you're interested in sales, lead gen, business optimization, passive income, I've got a few videos on my channel uh, as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. 96% of my viewers on my channel are not subscribed. Subscribe to this channel to support me being able to create more content on this channel. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.